Hey guys, how's it going? Comparing here. Today I'm going to give you guys a few highlights from a few recent very good arena runs that I've done with Paladin. I think there's actually a lot of Paladin videos in a row. But Paladin's been a bit of an interesting class. You guys know uh, there were not many hopes for the class being successful, either in Constructed or Arena when Angoro was launched. And with more time passing, uh, it seems like Paladin has been quite the success story in Angoro. Today I want to kind of um, give a bit of a new perspective to the Paladin class in Arena. We know that Mage and Rogue have been the top classes in Arena so far with Paladin just trailing a little bit behind. We, we get the idea for Mage and Rogue. They have the best hero powers, they have traditionally the best base cards, and they just got a whole bunch of cards that do discovery effects, card generation, all that kind of crap. And we also know that is generally extremely powerful and your opponent can't really counterplay you when you have a sizable number of them. Now Paladin's actually kind of the same thing in this regard. Um, generally I thought playing Paladin's all about getting a high number of spike Spike Ridge Steeds, and that's certainly the case uh, still for sure. But there's the other aspect that while Paladins have access to very similar Discover cards options as the other classes, it seems like they have more of an impact with Paladin, along with having a few of their own as well. So what ends up happening is uh, not the top two classes in Arena have extreme Discovery options. It's actually the top three. It includes Paladin. Probably Priest would be number four, and I think Priest is kind of just below that, but uh, Mage, Rogue, and Paladin, I believe, are the only classes with over 50% global win rate in Arena, at least according to the Hearth Arena stats we have so far. But again, millions of games tend to paint the right picture. So check out the clips. Hope you guys get a bit more insight with Paladin Arena in Ongoro, and maybe that helps your results a little bit. Check those out. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Mm, keep that. Second against Shaman's pretty bad, but this is honestly about as good of a hand as I'm gonna get with this deck, so. Ah, <sighs> fine. This is gonna be um, stronger than a Sunwalker eventually. Oh wow, no counterplay. Wow, it's a terrible card to play on turn one. Um, so if I retire, it wouldn't really do anything to the leaderboard, so I could definitely retire. People still abuse the leaderboard by making new accounts, um, only continuing if they have a really good start, and they get basically three insanely good arenas to start because of the new player bonus. So people are still gaming the system pretty hard for the leaderboard, but that's okay. As long as I'm on it someplace, I'm fine, and there's not really enough people to Enough good players gaming the system to knock me off of it, so I'm fine with that, I guess. Oh shit, okay. Mm. That's good enough, I guess. What's the point of the uh, leaderboard anyways? Bragging rights? Kind of. I told you guys, only the first few people would really care about and uh, basically we won, so it, it really doesn't matter anymore. I kind of want that actually. I want to have like a 1-1 one -one Slayer. Yeah, notoriety. I think I, I think I hit my arm today somehow. There's like this stinging pain right in the middle of it. Um. Vegan pain. Yeah. Speaking of which, we gotta get that B12. You guys gotta remind me again. I'm back on the pills. Fuck. Oh, man. 
good draw. You should only be allowed on the leaderboard if you've had an active account for a couple of months or something. What's the point of having the same people on the list ten times? It's fucking hard though, dude. People do anything they possibly can to uh, make themselves stand above the rest. More brothers, please. Out of my jungle. Oh, baby! Who needs a good deck when you just discover only good cards? Arena boys. That's pretty fucked. Do we go for it? We gotta go for it. Oh boy. Break the elemental chain too. That's pretty that's pretty bad too. Oh well. Put your faith in the light. Alright, so he's had one card in his hand a really long time and one card a reasonably long time. And he's got three cards, they're just random bullshit top my decks. Totems, my Discovered totems. cards. Get fucking trashed on. If he had Hex, he would've, he would've used it first. My eyes are open. Okay. So we have to keep in mind he doesn't have hex. So Don't test me. we kill that and then we play that. All right, cool. Let's go. Your turn. You on the list? <laughs> Delicious Okay. Kind of scary, actually. Don't test me, child. Thing is, it might get like taunt. I basically need a bunch of crap on the board ASAP. Follow the rules. Don't test it's because he uh he might just flood with taunt totems and shit, which would make my weapon useless. Peacekeeper it. There were a number of plays there, but yeah. Peacekeeper was pretty good. Alder last. Oh, you think I should have killed something else? Why? No, I think that play was pretty good. If you potion a man, a unit, and then Motler crit, does it respawn on my side or theirs? I'd imagine your side, but why not just panned it? That's really weird. He had a free trade if he did the other thing. I don't understand. Mine was horrible. Alright. Brothers, Alright. Ultrasaur. So, what's the worst that could happen? Probably a uh, bloodlust wind speaker. Oh my God, bloodlust wind speaker would be lethal. Reporting for duty. Why are we typing one? Because that's what you do on Twitch, dude. You get with the program. Excuse me, you are on fire. I'm not so optimistic about getting what I want here. Accidents. The battle. The battle. I think if I play that, it might not die for a couple turns, and I have nothing to play the turn after, so... It's not very good. The 
Really good at least. Gadgets and Gazette always gets the scoop. It's the problem I have is uh, I have like no plays next turn with that. Uh, if I did a double sacrifice, then this play it's like it's really clunky, dude. It's really, really clunky. Shit again. What's he gonna play? It's gonna make that good. Nah, that's not good. Nice little taunt wall. Tim's face like What in the fuck? Brothers, Can we get better than Ragnaros? Probably not. Win? Oh no, it's one off lethal. Alright. So that's good, I guess. I would mage get that card. Good question, I don't know. He ulted for it on that. Ouch. I can't coin a two with no follow up to it, almost no twos in my deck. Matchup is um, heavily influenced by first versus second, sadly. I think I'll go for that. Yeah, I'm gonna get blown. 
bone out now. Truth is my shield. Monsters back. He has harder move than fucked. He's had tons and tons of answers while going first and not even tapping, so there's not too much I can do here. Got attack. Got attack again. Wow. Uh alright. I could coin double hammer it, but doesn't really solve much, it's the truth. Get on the board fast, and you win. What? This game barely got started. How do you figure I win? Fucking medieve, dude. Like... Oh god. Does he have soul fire too? Jesus. Pretty good one drop. If you think people have bad decks at 8 and 2, you have not watched anyone but me play. Because, <laughs> like, uh, the amount of people with the worst decks that I play against at high wins is almost zero. Alright, here goes nothing. He needs hard removal once again. He's had hard removal. We've also seen him discard Shadow Ball. He's also had Soul Fire. He's not very deep in his deck either. Like, probably 15 or so. Yeah, 17 cards deep. It's a good thing we played that. I do need to get through these. I have to risk it healing the minion, which is not terrible. Divine Shield? It's not a great Divine Shield right now. Top deck Blast Crystal. Into Blood Fury Potion. Wow. What? No way you do that! No fucking way. Justice. Yeah, but again, how fucking crazy is this deck, right? Yeah, welcome to Crip Arena. Another one.
That's a really sick one too. Again, it's fine. You just need a good deck and to get a little lucky, you don't have to play well. Playing well is for streamers, guys. Just let them do that. This was the only play that... Second one! Ah, Sure, dude. Oh, wait. That's a crappy play. Wait, what? If he doesn't have one damage, this play's terrible. Oh, my fucking god, dude. Uh, this guy's so fucking bad. It hurts me, man. It hurts me. Okay, I only have the one Serban of Kalamos that would kind of get sabotaged here, but I gotta, I gotta go for it. This guy's, this guy's deck is just God mode, but he's playing kind of crap. So, yeah, eight and two. He's so lucky he went first. If he didn't go first, he'd be dead by now. Uh, play was fine. I really don't think so. Jesus, dude. Sonic Boom! Sonic Boom! He played the 4-8 dragon just to ping off a divine shield from a 1-1 when he had this in his hand, along with other stuff. It was clearly an awful play, you don't want to hear it. This guy's making tons and tons of mistakes, but his deck is absolutely ridiculous, so he's just going to win. That's it. Simple as that. Ooh, maybe not so simple, actually. Follow the rules. Five cards left. Alright, let me take a quick look at my deck. So we need the Arcane Anomaly to trigger the Servant of Kalamos to then trigger the Tolvir Stone Shaper. It's optimistic. Stonehill Defender is very good. Giant Mastodon is very good. Dinosaur is very good. Uh, okay, everything I draw except Arcane Anomaly is very good. But I need Arcane Anomaly to make Servant of Kalamos good. So I guess if I draw Servant of Kalamos, that's also kind of bad. Uh, looks like Twisting Nether to me. Oh, no, it's a Fell Fire Potion. Gadgets and Gazette always gets the scoop. Alright, I'll take that. Out of my jungle! Thank you. Oh, it's lethal. Lethal, lethal, lethal. How the hell did we win? Dude, what? 8-3 with that deck! 8-3!